Hello guys, this is Svetlana from Kamui Cosplay and today I'm going to show you how to control fancy LED strips with the Arduino. I already made a video about static lights and also one about digital LED strips and how to install them in your costumes. You will find a link in the video description below. Today, however, I want to show you how to find and edit code without actually knowing anything about programming. My Tsinogre Dua Blades, for example, have different animations and different modes. You see that? Super fancy. Ah. So this mode is blue pulsing. This one, red pulsing. Just some static blue light. And last but not least, a blue crawling effect. Some other examples are my full Tsinogre build from Monster Hunter or Master Nova from Heroes of the Storm. For these examples, all the code I needed here was actually pre-written and I found it on the internet. And today I want to show you how to find and adjust code the way you need it so you can put it into your own project and be super fancy. I will keep this video quite short though since you can actually fill a whole book about this topic. And what a coincidence, I actually wrote a whole book about this topic. It's actually filled with information about all the materials you need, all the chips and hardware which is necessary. It tells you how to get to the soldering and how to do all the other programming stuff and all the things you need. And yeah, check out the advanced cosplay lights book on KamuiCosplay.com. Yes! For this example, I'm working with the Arduino Uno, which is basically a mini computer and digital RGB LED strips. And you will find links for all products in the video description below. And now let's start the video. So before we start, here are a few basics on how the Arduino code actually works. First, go to the website and download the most current version of the Arduino IDE. This program allows you to write and edit code and upload it to the microchip which controls your LEDs. Now the easiest way to run some cool animations is to use a library. It's basically just a collection of pre-written code. My favorite one is the Adafruit NeoPixel library. You can install it by going to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries and then search for NeoPixel. Simply install it and you can find it under File, Examples, Adafruit NeoPixel. Now choose Strand Test here and it will open. Notice here that I'm working with an old version of the Strand Test, which gives me more options for adjustments. To get the old code, you can copy it from the link in the video description. This pre-written code is a so-called sketch. I know this might look super confusing right now, but don't worry, I was there as well, so let me help you. First, let's see what happens when you upload the code. Just make sure that your board is set to Arduino slash Genuino Uno, your programmer to Arduino ISP, and your port to Arduino Genuino Uno as well. Note here that I'm working on a Mac, so it might be slightly different on a PC. Next, connect the LED strip with your Arduino. Here is a schematic, by the way. Plug it in. And click the Upload button. Once you see the Done Uploading message, your LEDs will start doing all kind of neat stuff. What they actually do though is to run through all the animations that are written down in the code one after the other. Look! First the microcontroller sets the strip to red. Then to green, then to blue. Blinking white, blinking red, blinking blue. Then the rainbow animation. Afterwards the rainbow cycle animation, which is pretty similar. Finally a blinking rainbow animation. Then it's done and starts again from the top. Pretty straightforward, right? 
Now it's up to you to pick your favorite animation and adjust it the way you like. At least that's what I do for most of my own projects. Look, here is a rainbow cycle running only with blue light. And here I use the same code but only with orange colors. And this is actually a completely different code, which I also found online and adjusted a bit. What I want to say is that you actually don't need to be a programmer to create some cool light effects. All you need to get started is to edit some already existing code. My favorite source is the Adafruit website. As an example, I used the Cyberfall Swig code as a base and changed the colors, speed and amount of animated raindrops. The result was a fancy light up ponytail. So let's dive into a little bit more detail. Like how does this work exactly? First some simple basics to work with this trend test sketch. This command include tells the microcontroller to load the Adafruit NeoPixel library. Define means there is a LED strip with 60 LEDs which is connected to pin number 6. These are just some parameters you can adjust later. And the white setup section basically tells the LED strip to be prepared for some incoming signals. Well, and void loop includes a collection of all animations which run, you guessed it right, in a loop. These are only names though. The real code for all these so-called functions can be found after the brackets of void loop are closed. Here you'll find color vibe, white rainbow, white rainbow cycle, or white theater chase. If you write two slashes in front of a line or a function, you'll deactivate it. In this example, I take everything out except rainbow cycle, the function I mostly use for my costumes. After uploading the code again, the only animation that is shown now is rainbow cycle. Now let's change some colors. You'll need to edit the wheel function for this step. Explaining why and how would go too much into detail right now, however. But all you need to know is simply that this part here is responsible for the red light, this part for green, and this part would be blue. So by setting all red parts to zero, you turn off the light and the result is a rainbow that only cycles from green to blue. Same goes for only blue. You can do the same for the function color vibe for example. The three numbers you can set here are for red, green and blue and need to be between 0 and 255. 0 means the color is completely off and 255 means it's on full power. For example, by adding a lot of red and a bit of blue here, we'll get a pink color. The 50 on the end is the delay which controls how fast the LEDs are filling up. 50 is almost instant, while 500 will only slowly fill them with color. It's not that I knew this from the very beginning though. I always play around with a new sketch by changing some random numbers, upload the code and see what happens. This is really the best way to understand what you're actually doing. For the next step, I want to be able to switch between two different modes. We can achieve this by merging two different sketches together, strand test and button. You can find button under examples, digital and button. Button is a sketch that allows you to turn a light on with the push of a, well, button. I'm using a slide switch here though, so I don't need to hold the button the whole time. See, if I flip the switch, the light goes on and if I flip it again, it goes off. Here is a schematic for the wiring. 
And here's the schematic if you want to use your LED strip with such a slide switch. So let's grab include and define from strand test and place them at the beginning of the button sketch. Same goes with the void setup part. Just copy it into the void setup of button. Next, we need two animations to switch between. Let's grab a color wipe in red, which goes here, and a color wipe in blue. Finally, we need the full void function. Just copy it at the end. Oh, and if you don't know where the function ends that you need to copy, just click on the first curly bracket and the Arduino IDE will show you where the part ends. Now, if you upload your code, your LED strip will be animated depending on the position of your switch. Oh, and by the way, the rainbow and rainbow cycle codes are written in such a way that they can only be interrupted at a specific time or with a specific command. I won't explain this in detail here, but know that you'll need a slight switch and you'll have to wait a bit until the animation stops and changes. If you want more information and get a little bit more into detail here, just check out my advanced cosplay lights book. Well, and if you want to do anything else, like the blinking scout flies in my Monster Hunter costume, light up raindrops for the crazy ponytail of my Nova costume, or the charging power effect of my gas rifle, simply search for a code, try to find the right sections to adjust it and have fun playing around with it. I really hope this video was helpful and you are now able to understand code a little bit better, now how to find it and how to adjust it for yourself. And I hope you are now inspired to put LEDs everywhere because that's how I feel about every single project. As always, thanks so much for all your support and please like and subscribe because this really, really helps our channel. And if you want to support us even more, you can also check out our Patreon. And as always, thank you very much and see you very soon. Bye bye!